The engines on the island of Sodor hate the summer. Of course they do. <laughs> One morning, the engines were very excited. Alicia Bollocks, the famous singer, was coming. She's a cock. What's a cock? So it's I don't know. Like halfway. <laughs> I like I saw that. It's a pretty cool episode, honestly. Well, one thing's for sure, said Gordon. He won't choose the dirty dirty. Dirty dirty. I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Say dirty dirty. goddamn time. But the next day, the fat controller didn't choose Gordon, and he didn't choose James. He chose Dirty Thomas. Don't call me Dirty Thomas! Not the same, it was not Dirty Percy. Soon, Thomas was shiny and squeaky clean. He felt more important than ever. But as the workers coupled Annie and Clarabelle, they heard a strange noise. <laughs> What's that? asked Thomas anxiously. His driver quickly oiled Annie and Clarabelle's undercarriage. Oh my. <laughs> Thomas! <laughs> Noisily into the keyside where Alicia Pollux was waiting. Is that technically the coaches that are making the noise, not Thomas? Just saying it out loud. The fat controller held Clarabelle's door open when <laughs> Alicia Botty screamed. I still don't get how like how they actually like animate the mouse moving back and forth. That's something I really wish that they could do. Like how they like move back and forth like this. Like look. So and cute. she screamed. And she screamed. And she screamed. Its eyes are even the same. So loud and so long the windows broke all over town. Her eyes aren't even the same. Her, its eyes aren't even the same like level. What is it, Peterson? I'm not sure. I feel a disturbance. Definitely a color of Chiora, said Gordon. <laughs> Gordon is a very Good proud boy. steam engine. He's the fastest engine on the island of Sogo. No, he's not. <laughs> Yeah, she's speeding up. Oh, the fat controller arrived with news of a special for Thomas. I want you to collect the jet engine and take it to the airfield. What's a jet engine? asked Percy. I don't know. <laughs> Thomas arrived at the docks excited to see the jet engine. It was shifty and modern, and Thomas had never seen anything like it. I'm not sure he you could find something beautiful and something to bad journey, together. But Cranky was taking his time. Hurry up, oh, Thomas. This is a special special. Cranky is not like the end of the scene. He became so cranky that he was careless with his hook. His hook knocked the switch, and the switch started the jet engine. The engine began to whine. The whine got louder and louder and louder. Here we go. Oh, said Cranky. Before he could say anything else, the jet engine was blocking some of the track. How is he not derailing? I never understood that ever. I'm gonna crash through a station at his house. Oh, never mind, he just went off the cliff instead. <laughs> he steamed gently back into Natford Station. Mm -hmm. Sorry for overtaking you back there, Gordon. Overtake me? I noticed, Gordon huffed. And Gordon wished away.